A few weeks ago, I partnered with a community called Let's Drift to explore some extremely off the beaten path destinations in Kenya. I'm talking places that aren't even on Google Maps. For this trip, we were sent a Google pin that led us to a completely different place, which is about an hour away from where we were supposed to meet with our guide. Right now, we're in the middle of nowhere. In this video, we're going to explore one of the few diatomite caves in East Africa in a place called Gisheru Mines. Wow, a crazy detour later. So apparently our pin took us to a completely different place, which is probably even a little bit more than an hour away from here. This here is our guide, George, George Bush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know? to Lipotea, uh, to Lipotea Sana. But the road coming down to this place is so beautiful. Apparently it's a new road. So you're just going through these hills. Um, so where we got lost, to get here, we had to go over three hills and my car is almost out of fuel, so I don't know how we're going to make our way back. You see that hill over there? So Google Maps took us over that hill, so we had to come back this way, all that way through that road. And now we're here. Ah, adventures, adventures. This is true off the beaten path. We just have a short little hike to go through and we'll make it into the caves. There to my caves. Uh -huh. There's a uh, Mau Mau cave here. Okay, Datomite and Mau Mau caves. My lovely sister is accompanying me along with her friend. This is Sipha. Are you excited? Very, very excited. So, by the way guys, Sipha is one of the people who picked up phone photography secrets. I enjoyed it. Are you going to make I'm... use of it? Let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you I mean, so much for all the support. The teacher himself, so <laughs> might as well take advantage. Yep, it just goes to show, guys. If you pick up phone photography yeah, yeah. secrets for yourself, or if you enroll in Ultimate Videographer, you can get a chance to join me in one of these trips and you know, just go and have some fun, take some photos, make some videos. White rocks. All this right here is datumite. So George is just saying that this area over here is like Hell's Gate. If it rains, um, yeah, you could experience flash floods. But he's telling us that <laughs> we'll be all right. I'm not so sure how true that is. So basically, the reference for Hell's Gate is in Naivasha. There's a place called Hell's Gate. It's a national park, and they have these gorges where once in a while you'll have flash floods and you can actually hike through those gorges but a few times you've had people who have been carried away by the flash floods and have died so they actually closed down those gorges. This place is super cool but one of the most annoying things about it is there's flies everywhere and they just come onto your nose, onto your mouth. This week has actually been a really intense week in terms of uh, physical fitness because a few weeks ago I posted a photo about my wrist being in so much pain and someone commented about how much my body is just out of shape and I, I completely agree and so this week I started working out with abs and as that as well as the hiking has made my body <sighs> basically I'm dying right now it's crazy This right over here is a little pool, but apparently it's six meters deep. Yeah, it would really suck to fall in there. It looks like we're in an episode of Lord of the Rings right now. Doesn't this remind you of the spider yeah. spider cave? But like, with no way out. Wow, this is so freaking beautiful. I mean, it's so insane that you can actually find places like this here in Kenya. So actually right over there is a quarry mine or quarry mine. I don't know how you say the word. Um, they get stones from there to build buildings and roads. 
and you basically hike through the quarry mine to get to these uh, dolomite caves. George was telling us that datomite has quite a number of uses actually. It's used as an abrasive to make chalk, filters for wine or beer, and so they mine a lot of it from here. Dude, your trousers. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's like you got chalk dust all over it. When during the week, it's your turn to rub the blackboard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, go home the, every day you, you start wiping your hands on your shirt and on your trousers. <laughs> get that chalk dust all over you, and you you go back home, and your mom's like, really. So apparently in Kenya, there's only two dolomite caves. This one here is a white dolomite cave, and somewhere else he didn't tell me where is a brown dolomite cave and he thinks that they're the only ones in the whole of africa that is freaking insane this is the original mau mau cave uh-huh enter the mau mau cave Whoa. this cave used to be much much bigger it would start from way over there all the way till here and that's where the mau mau freedom fighters would uh hide themselves during the time of British colonialism in Kenya. <laughs> it actually kind of smells bad because of the bats over here. The caves started from somewhere about there and the reason why there's no more cave over here is because yeah, water flows from that cool. direction and it eroded the whole cave. So now it's just this part that is left. Loads of bats in there. <laughs> that is scary, that is freaky. <laughs> I'm strong! I can lift anything because of my working out this week. Ha, just joking. It's light like a feather. I dare one of you to pick up that rock. <laughs> no, it's like a sponge. You could literally, literally throw it to her like a rugby ball. <laughs> Let's just rewind a little bit and go back to our facts. The Mau Mau caves are actually dolomite caves. This whole area full of dolomite caves. And right now we're walking into one of the largest that's over here. I'm getting my lens all dusty. Welcome to one of the largest dolomite caves. Ooh, still difficult to get up. Okay, here we are. This is beautiful. George, our super cool guide is, he's making a small ladder for us to get into the, the path has been created. I'm going in all alone with George, of course, because the girls, you know, they're cowards. Hey, how oh, Audrey? We've made it inside the labyrinth of caves. Hello! 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 Kuna echo mingi. Guys, guys, listen to this. Ini kama surround sound. Sasa ndio nikakwambia inaenda according to formation. Where is it in by view? Guys, it's insane how much light my camera is actually picking up right now. These caves are insanely dark. But my my camera makes it look like this is a whole house in here. And back out we go. This could be like the coolest natural slide down here. What did you girls learn today while sitting here and not entering the cave? I can show you how strong I am. See? Hey, you broke a rock. Okay, rock formation slides. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on. <laughs> uh, you guys should see my camera right now it's it's white a black camera has turned white Woo! <laughs> why you're dusty coolest cave experience ever but it's getting dark so we have to make our way back in fast we have about a one hour one and a half hour drive depending on the traffic back to nairobi and we made it we didn't die! Woo! What a freaking experience. George, yeah. thank you so much. Thank You've you been a very that. good guide. Yeah. And guys, with that, we've had an amazing time with Let's Drift, exploring some of the 
unknown places to visit here in Kenya. It's been truly amazing. And if you want to enjoy experiences like that, make sure to check them out. I've linked their link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button. It really, really helps. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you want to learn how to make videos like I do, I have a top five videography tips for beginners that you can check out right over here. So make sure to check that out. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.